We're here with MSI at CES, and this is certainly one of the most extreme graphics cards that we've seen in many, many years. MSI is known for its lightning series of graphics cards over the years with screens on them with different sort of aspects with additional fans. But what we have here is definitely the most extreme version of the lightning yet. So here we have the Lightning Z. It's an RTX 5090 card, which has two elements to it. It has the card itself, which is here, and a liquid cooling 360 millimeter uh, fan module here. But the thing to bear in mind here is that this is a two piece unit. It doesn't just go straight into a slot. And because it has a screen on the side, it's recommended that you vertically mount it in a case. So here we have the Lightning Z installed in a very fancy MSI case here. And as you can see, the uh, card is vertically mounted. So there's a riser cable that runs from the bottom of the card into the motherboard. In most cases, when you uh, buy a video card, you want to do something like this. You have to supply the um, riser cable uh, hardware, which tends to cost $50, $60. MSI is including in, in the box here because it assumes that you're gonna to wanna to show off this glorious screen vertically and not horizontally inside of your case. Um, so we have the card mounted here. In this particular case, we have a big readout of essentials around VRAM speeds, the clock on the card, power consumption. And uh, we have the uh, liquid cooling hoses in this particular case going into the three fan cooler vertical mount over there on the right. They've redesigned the fan blades that they're using uh, for this AIO cooler specifically using a specialized material. I believe they refer to it as liquid crystal polymer. And versus earlier lightning cards, they're seeing significant increases in cooling because of the use of those fans in that material. So MSI has gone to great lengths to show sort of the internals of this card and how it was constructed, because there's a lot going on here. If you look at the internals of the card, you can see this is no ordinary video card. Um, this is the uh, main PCB, which they claim is custom for the card and has a 40 phase power design, which is pretty over the top, even for a 5090. Um, you can see the uh, power phases all around the GPU here. Um, and with all of this, in addition to the GPU, you're gonna have to have some serious cooling. So MSI put together the first full copper backplate for a card of this class and grade. And you can see here, serious amount of copper, very heavy, feels like a brick in my hands here. On the top, you've got inlets um, for the liquid cooling. So your liquid is going in one out the other to keep all that stuff cool. AIO cooler, um, we've got two of the fans on there. As you can see, you're going to need a um, case that's capable of you know, full length cooler to accommodate that. And then the card itself, has the uh, LCD on it. You can see on the underside here, this is just a plastic frame around uh, the big copper block. So mostly decorative, but it's gonna look pretty uh, stupendous in your case when you vertically mount it like this. This is actually the back plate over um, the rear of the card. If you're vertically mounting this, you're not gonna see this. So enjoy it while you're looking at it and you're installing it. But it's actually quite nice and has this carbon fiber panel inside of it over here. Because the RTX 5090 Lightning Z is such an elite card and it's going to come in at a premium price, um, MSI took extra care with the packaging of this. This is not just a throwaway box. So um, we're going to open it up here. It opens in two halves. It exposes the card and the liquid cooler um, like it's a piece of jewelry or precision equipment. So here we have the uh, main part of the card out of the box. Uh, you'll notice it says on top here, limited edition, one of 1300. Um, with the uh, Lightning series, that's the way MSI rolls. They make a limited number of them because they are um, expensive and of sort of uh, limited audience and also makes them into collector's item. According to MSI, this card will have a dual BIOS and the default BIOS will pull 800 watts maximum. But because of the overclocking focus of this card, you should be able to get up to 1000 watts through one of the, the BIOSes. But you will need those two uh, connectors there to deliver an adequate amount of power and keep things rock stable. So that's a quick overview of the RTX 5090 Lightning Z from MSI. You'll have to act fast if you actually want to get one of these. There are only going to be 1300 made as mentioned and they're coming available in February of 2026. So get out the credit card and get in line. For more coverage of CES products, components, desktop PCs, laptops, and other gear, check into PCMag.com.